Hello everyone. Welcome to my dot hack GU last recode review. I am redoing this review because I got some great advice. I know my last review was not great because it didn't have gameplay in the background. This time it will. For my own YouTube channel, of course, because the game is no longer installed on my hard drive. And I figured this would be easier to do. Maybe, I don't know. But my review of this game is, honestly, I loved it. I loved every moment of it. It was a big improvement from the PS2. The combat is wonderful. The story is wonderful. The voice acting, honestly, is excellent. It's beyond wonderful, honestly. Like, it's the greatest. Like, 10 out of 10 for all of the people who were involved. <coughs> the only problem I have with this game is the final, the new volume, it was more of a movie and not like an actual volume because it's only an hour long. Like, that's it. It's still worth playing, but if they had released Volume 4 back then for 60 bucks and it was only an hour long, I would have been pissed. I would have been really upset. I would have. It wouldn't have been worth it. But maybe they had plans back then. Who knows? For a Volume 4. I honestly don't know. But overall, I rate the game a solid 10. Despite Volume 4 being an hour long. Because honestly, the game is great. What, you see, what you're seeing now is the combat system. If you've played the original Dot Hack game, which I have not... It's the same as that. I I assume it's the same as that. I don't know. You have your Rengeki finish. You have your skills. You have the area you're in. <clears throat> you have a morale. You have your party mates. And at the end, you gain experience. Every level requires a thousand experience. And getting levels is stupidly easy. Just go to areas that are three levels above you and you will level up like a madman. And I, I mean, if you want to finish the game within like a few hours, just grind levels. And then you'll be, you know, ready for the story. Max level for every single volume is 50, 100, and then 150. You can modify your weapons, your armors, you can learn skills through either leveling up or through skill books. There is no class customization, like you cannot choose your own class because the character you play as chose his own class, which is a trickster rogue, which is basically every single class in the game, in a sense. But you cannot choose what class you want to be, which is fine. If they make it, if they are making a new one, which I hope they are someday, I would not mind being able to choose my own class. Or having more freedom and whatnot. These are um, the chims you can kick to open doors. You don't really need a thousand of them. But they allow you to go over a thousand in this version, which is actually quite nice. I might use morale here. I don't know. We'll see. But I recommend this game. If you're a fan of action RPGs, you will have fun with this game. The boss fights are unique. You don't fight the bosses in the form you're in now, you fight them as like a scythe wielding giant 
entity type thing. And between the PS2 version and this version, this version is a lot easier to make to do because in the PS2 version of this game, even during a combat like this, the game would slow down. Like the game was like, think of like you're playing an MMO RPG. Which this is this is a single player game, but it's an MMO RPG as well. Inside of that single player game. So think think like think back to think back to the old days when you had a really crummy PC and really crummy internet. And then the game would just like slow down to a crawl or just completely stop because you were lagging out so bad. That's what the PS2 version would do. <clears throat> I don't know if that was intentional on the developer part or if it was the PS2 hardware doing that. But that's no longer in the game. Which is sad, to, but I, I wish it was still there, but it's not. Unfortunately, because if it was still there, it would mean that it was intentional by the devs, and it would be hilarious for speedrunners to deal with that crap. It would. But, again, I recommend this game. It is a 10 out of 10. You will have a blast with it. The combat is fun. Oh, and notice that bar above your head. That is, in a sense, the um, like the old Final Fantasy before the combat they have now. That is like the um, active time battle bar. When you can use your abilities or use items and whatnot. It works. It works for this series. I was... Surprised on how it works for this series. I played this on PS2, I played it on PS4, and I played it now on PS on PC. And I hope they are making more of this franchise. This has been my re-review of Dot Hack GU. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day.